With the country still reeling from the unthinkable mass shooting at Robb Elementary School in Texas, pressure is mounting on Washington to do something. President Biden meeting with the Prime Minister of New Zealand, a country that passed tough new gun restrictions in 2019, including a ban on assault weapons after a mass shooting at a mosque there claimed 51 lives. Much of it is preventable. Mr. Biden promising off camera he would meet with Congress on guns. On Capitol Hill, the Democratic-led House Judiciary Committee is eyeing a vote as early as Thursday on a slate of new measures that would include raising the age to purchase a semi-automatic rifle from 18 to 21. While the bill has almost no chance of passing in the Senate, Democrats are attempting to turn up the heat on the holdouts. Hopefully, in the court of public opinion, we'll be able to put enough pressure on a handful of Republican senators uh, to finally come to some common ground. Today, a bipartisan group of senators will hold urgent virtual talks. They're discussing expanded background checks and so-called red flag laws that would allow law enforcement to keep guns out of the hands of anyone deemed a threat to themselves or someone else. Overnight, some top Democrats and Republicans expressing measured optimism. This time really does feel different. We'll get back at it next week and hope to have some results. But there is also deep skepticism that change will come. Since 2004, when a federal ban on assault weapons expired, Congress has repeatedly tried and failed to pass new gun measures. All as one study by Northwestern Medicine found that 10-year assault weapons ban likely prevented as many as 11 mass shootings. Kristen, these votes often go down to party lines. Is there any bipartisan support for some of the actions being talked about? Well, Savannah, it seems to be growing. Lawmakers say this moment does feel different because more Republicans are starting to voice support for some of the ideas that have been put on the table, including raising the minimum age, for example, to purchase a semi-automatic rifle. Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger called it a no-brainer. Conservative Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson signaled he's open to a conversation on raising the age to purchase a semi-automatic rifle, so some pressure from the states. And some in conservative media, including the New York Post and the National National Review have also been pushing for stricter standards for gun purchases. So we are watching this quite closely, Savannah. All right, Kristen Wilker at the White House. Thank you, Kristen. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.